Hello and welcome to View from IMF here in Bali. I'm here with Augusto King, who is Head of Capital Markets for Asia X Japan with MUFG. Thanks for being with us today. Nice seeing you. Um, so I just wanted to ask, how are the Asian markets been performing this year and how is this comparable with what's happened in the rest of the world? Right. Uh, first quarter, we have a very busy year. A lot of our uh, customers, issuers, uh, you know, in anticipation of a more volatile market this year, has tried to prefund themselves. So first quarter was like very heavy volume. As we got into the second quarter, where there is a lot more volatility driven by rates, driven by you know, uh, you know uh, concerns over you know performance of the economy in general, then we have seen uh, volume decrease, and we expect uh, by the end of the year, uh, volume should be down vis-a-vis -vis last year, maybe around 20 to 25 percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we have a very, very far, vibrant first quarter. Okay, good. Um, so what is the appetite of Asian investors? Are they looking mainly in the region or are they looking outside? I think over the last um, couple of years, maybe between five to seven years, we have seen a very strong homegrown liquidity here that tend to be very supportive of Asian issuers probably because they know the market better. But at the same time, they look for diversification. They're looking at other more developed market opportunities. So we have also seen an increase uh, in row showing you know, non-Asian names in Asia to, uh, to Asian investors. But again, I still uh, would like to say that the investors here are still very biased towards Asian name, although they are also become a, li a little bit more active now looking at the non-Asian uh, uh, issuers uh, that have uh, been shown to them. Uh, here in Asia. Mm -hmm. And also, what, there's been a lot of talk around that of the, the growing trade conflict between China and the US. Um, how is this going to impact the other countries in the region and do you think this will prompt more caution? Right. Uh, in this uh, new conference here, you know, one of, this is one of the topics that uh, in every meeting I attend to, uh, people do talk about it. I think there's a general concern in terms of what this actually means to the overall economy globally and also in Asia. Uh, so certainly I think people tend to be now a bit more risk averse. Uh, we have seen a lot of our customers uh, on the more uh, you know, mid-cap, high yield type of customers, uh, it, will be, it becomes a lot more difficult for them to assess the market. Uh, the investors are still comfortable with the, the, uh, the, the blue chips uh, here. Uh, particularly the state-owned enterprises, so their deals can still have a lot of followers. Uh, yes, spread has widened a, a, a bit, but again, you know, if they want to do a transaction, there's still enough liquidity to actually support those transactions. So I think the, the, the short-term impact is, is really, you know, getting investors, you know, pushing investors to be a lot more risk-averse, and that will have an immediate impact on more the mid-caps, the high yields out of the region. But again, in general, I think if it is a blue chip out of the region, I think investors are still very supportive. And it's also time for them that they can actually make higher spreads, you know, taking into consideration the volatility one sees in the market. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.